Share it. We're back Whoa. and in the kitchen with Rania <laughs> as she continues adding, adding butter to this thing and, <laughs> and that everywhere. thing and everything. We're making Sunday suppers, which I love. It's such a great way to gather the family if you have a busy week. So we are making a swordfish dish. Right. So just before we went off the air, mm -hmm. what I did was in the same pan that I sauteed the swordfish is I added butter. Again, I added a little <laughs> bit more garlic. But I didn't oh, really, I didn't so cook good. the garlic. I didn't really, I didn't yeah. want the garlic to brown, okay? Right. So I immediately, as soon mm. as the garlic hit the pan and I let it soften for a nanosecond, I added white wine and lemon juice. And really, folks, that's the taste. It smells It has delicious. to be the taste. Now, I am going to season this with some pepper okay. and some salt. And then I made what's called a slurry. And... I'm going to just take this off right here for a second. I'm moving everything around here because this is a lot recipe work in number here. two. Right. And a slurry is a little bit of flour mixed. I usually do it with a little bit of white wine. Okay. And Instead I, of water. Yeah, well, why not? Why not? Right. <laughs> not. Why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so you see all that does is thicken this just a little bit. Okay. So again, you want to be careful as to how much you put in there. Because you don't want it to be Capers. Okay. Capers have a wonderful saltiness to them. Grape tomatoes. Little bit of parsley. We'll put the rest of it on top. Cut the heat. Boom. It's let gone. That go. yeah, you know what's so gone. funny is I have a burner in my kitchen. You have a burner in your kitchen. It's so weird watching you work over here. Well, I, right, right. right. This, this is your burner over there. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm moving all over the place. Now, I'm sorry about that. But no, I love it. There's a it's lot of so work funny. going on here. So I'm going to just. Here, yep, here. I'll hold that. <laughs> here with some more butter. <laughs> and here I'm going to add to this butter. This is a praline topping I'm making for our cheesecake. Right, some brown sugar. Okay. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a smidge of kosher salt, just really a smidge little bit of cinnamon. This okay. is a very fall cheesecake that we are making. I love cheesecake. And we just, can you smell the cinnamon on I this? I can. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in chopped pecans. They're not toasted. Okay. And we want to coat this really, really, really well with the butter and brown sugar mixture. And then we're going to add in some cream. And you just let this cook for just a couple of minutes and it becomes a topping. Well, I had it ahead of time because this would be too hot to be putting on the cheesecake. So okay. I'm, again, going to cut the heat. Now in here for the cheesecake, I have three pounds of cream cheese. Three pounds. That's a lot of cream cheese. And to this, I'm going to add brown sugar. Do you want a spoon? Um, who needs a spoon when they have your fingers? I have one right here. Come on. <laughs> and then... Raise this a little bit because I seriously want to incorporate my brown sugar into my cream cheese. Three eggs and try to do those one at a time if you can. Two and three. And clearly, it's important for you to periodically. Scrape in the side. You, need to, yeah. you absolutely have to do that. So you need to raise the arm and try to get down in here because the cream cheese has to be completely incorporated. Now let me tell you something. The biggest no-no in making any cheesecake is that people overbeat it and they beat air into it and inflate it. Oh. So it poofs up in the oven and then when it cools down it, it goes sinks. like that yeah. and it cracks. It's so sad. Right. So you really <laughs> don't want to do that, right? You want to be careful. Now we're going to add a little bit of sour cream to this. And why the sour cream? Um, it just gives it another layer of flavor. Okay. Always a little bit of salt punches it out. I know that sounds a little odd when you're making a cheesecake, but a little bit of salt, vanilla extract, and lower this because now you're going to add a little bit of flour. That really was a little bit of flour. A little bit of flour. Okay. Now, everybody knows how to make a graham cracker crust, so I'm not going to take the time to show you how to do that. And my baking directions will be on the web when okay. you go to get the recipe. 
but this is a spring form pan, which you absolutely need when you're making a cheesecake because right. you have to release the size. Good old fashioned graham crack crust. All you want to do is pour this mixture in there, bake it according to the directions. You can do it in a hot water bath, okay. which will, this is the result of the cheesecake. When it comes out, it won't crack. But if you do that, you want to wrap your pan in some foil. So that and the then, water doesn't get that's in. That's right. Okay. And then what you do is you put the foil wrap pan, not the top, just the foil wrap pan, right in there. Okay. Now, it's time for us to finish eat. the dinner. Oh, finish the dinner, right. Finish Sorry. the dinner. Finish so, first, then eat. <laughs> here we go. Remember these? I do. Look beautiful how beautiful pieces they of fish. look. Okay, let's get some okay. of this out of the way. Um, I'm not sure. You know what? I'll put this here. <laughs> We're clearing the way. We are clearing the way. So I just need a dish from you. Okay. I can do that. Swordfish. This is, is my first time trying swordfish. I'm really I excited. I think you're going to like it. I really do. And did you notice here that I put a lid on and the grape tomato softened, but they didn't cook to the point where they collapsed. Right. Look how beautiful that looks. It is a pretty dish. I feel like this is a dish, if you want to impress somebody. This is an impressive dish. Frankie would love this, I bet husband. he would. You tell Frankie this is on the menu. Okay. <laughs> now, here you so go. I find a little bit of time to cook a whole dinner. There, you do that. Okay. And while you're doing that, sweetheart, I am going to cut a piece of cheesecake for you. Okay. And then you put the praline topping right on top of your cheesecake. I find it easier to cut the cheesecake, put it on a plate. Yes. Oh, cheat. I can see why it's your best meal ever. I can't believe that I'm you I'm going like in for another that. bite. I, you know, folks, I got to tell you, Heather is not a lover of fish. Uh -uh. So I feel, I feel very, very... Very good. Well, I'm going to go home on a high. Ta-da. Ta-da. Okay, I'm going to dig into this, and uh, we have to say goodbye to you. No. Until next week, though, Rainy. Okay. <laughs> Until next week, when you impress us once again. Oh, Be thanks. sure to watch next week as Rainy continues her Sunday dinner theme. And remember, you can always find a copy of Rainy's recipes at kdk.com slash ptl.